Hi, I'm Lori Grinker. I'm a photographer and author. My last book at Exhibition Project, After War, Veterans from a World in Conflict, documented the effects of war on the men, women, and children who fought on the front lines from World War I to Iraq. My current project, Distant Relations, also looks at history. It is a crossroads of a family's journey, my family. I've spent over 25 years documenting people's lives around the globe, but I've never turned the camera on myself. I knew nothing about how the Grinkers came to be in America, what they had endured in their homeland, and what became of their relatives who dispersed to other lands. My name is uh, Boris Grinker. I'm 16 years old. Many people um, think, uh, wonder, if there is life on other planets. And so did I wonder all the time, are there other Grinkers on this planet? Now I know that there are many of us. My life began between the suburbs of New York City and my father's office at 515 Madison Avenue. Growing up, the only Grinkers I knew were my brother, my mom and dad, my aunt, and my grandmother. My grandfather, Abraham, died when I was two years old, and he was an orphan at age 11, so we knew nothing of our family history, how they came from Lithuania to Patterson, New Jersey. We do know that my grandparents were born in Squatis, Lithuania. And since then, we have, uh, we and some other Grinkers, Bill Grinker from Boston in particular, have looked into what Squatis was like. And um, it wasn't a great place for Jews. The real story of this project began in 1960 when Dr. Roy R. Grinker, a famous psychiatrist from Chicago, wrote a letter to all the Grinkers he knew of. He wrote, Dear Grinkers, As I wrote to some of you previously, after my trip to Israel I received a communication from a man named Grinker who became, as I did, interested in trading relationships among the Grinkers in this world. My Aunt Rosalie began a correspondence with him, and by 1981 they had a new tree. And from that 20, now I have about 1,100 Grinkers, some of whom, like me, don't usually use the name Grinker, but are Grinkers. Over the course of the next 50 years, we began to understand the movement of a family who left Lithuania during a period when pogroms, boycotts, and other anti-Semitic depredations made life increasingly difficult for Jewish people. In 2002, I had the opportunity to travel to Lithuania, to villages where my ancestors once lived. I began to imagine the what-ifs, both as a photographer, a kind of outsider, and as a grinker. In 2005, we raised funds and I went to South Africa to meet Philip, Lindy, and Russell Grinker. My name is Philip Grinker, Philip with one L. Do you have a middle name? No middle name, we couldn't afford it. <laughs> but if you want to learn about politics, I suggest you discuss it with my son, Russell. The social role that Jews had played for hundreds of years had come to an end and they were dislocated from society in a, in a much more radical way than other people were, although everybody was, was pretty much dislocated by the, the collapse of the old forms of, of, of societies in Eastern Europe. What began as a search to know more about my family history has come to represent a much larger story. War, oppression, the search for better opportunities and more freedoms are among the many reasons families disperse every day. This very intimate, yet ultimately universal work will reflect many of the key aspects of diaspora as experienced by many families of differing origins and histories. With your help, I can complete the photography and interviews with the Grinkers in Argentina, Israel, England, and Australia. The final result will be a traveling exhibition, book, and educational website. I hope you will join me on this journey. Thank you very much. Anna Grinker, Alexander Grinker, Irina Grinker, Olga Grinker, Ruvim Grinker, Lori Grinker, Yuri Grinker, Elena Grinker, Ekaterina Grinker, Bora Grinker. Okay.